Okay guys, here it is, the new 2018 GT3. I saw it here at the New York Auto Show a while back, and boy, does it look really, really good. What a wonderful refresh on this car. First, some numbers. We've got a 4.0 liter flat six producing 500 horsepower and 339 foot-pound of torque. This is a high revving engine with a red line of up to 9,000. And it's based on the engine used in the 911 GT3 Cup race car. So this engine is going to be a screamer. Of course, the other big news for this generation of the GT3 is that it comes with a manual transmission, a six-speed manual. I believe it's the same manual that was developed for the 911R is now in this car. So that's huge news. The 991.1 was only available with PDK. Of course, you can still do the PDK with this car. So zero to 60 in the manual will take you about 3.8 seconds according to Porsche. The PDK in 3.2 seconds. So obviously on a track, you know, for out and out speed, I bet you the PDK will always be a slightly faster than the manual. But people will argue the manual will be more fun because of your total engagement with the car. So I don't think you can miss with either one. It's just that it's great that the manual option has returned. The manual is back. Let's take a look at some details of this car. So they made some design changes and you can start with the front. The front air openings are a little bit different from the original GT3 and I think they're improved. I think the angles that they've created here are much better and much more integrated and more aggressive than the 991.1 GT3, I should say. Um, they also have a more aggressive splitter that sticks out in front and all of this is supposed to be operational. It's supposed to be effective aerodynamics to provide more downforce. And then of course at the very end, the very back, is a much more aggressive spoiler than the 991.1 version. The spoiler is higher and farther back. And again, the Porsche claims that these uh, changes produce more downforce. And then there's also some underbody work as well that provide more aerodynamic benefits. Also at the back are these two big black Ram Air scoops that force feed air into that high revving engine. So all of this is functional. All of this is supposed to enhance and better the performance of the car. So although all of these design changes are really probably technical and for enhancing performance, they also make the car look great too. So from an aesthetic design standpoint, the car looks fantastic. The more aggressive nose with those better shaped air inlets really does look good. The reshaped bigger rear spoiler really does look great. And I think the proportions of those things look fantastic. And of course with the lowered suspension just hugging those tires, the car just looks nominal and aggressive and just fantastic. So I'm really pleased with this. This new GT3 comes with some other technical things. This car now comes with four wheel steering, so the rear wheels will turn slightly so that it'll either tighten up the turning radius in slow speed corners, or if you're in high speed situations, uh, the rear wheels will turn with the front wheels to provide more stability. I just hope I'm able to drive this one day. I mean, it looks like such a beast. I saw a couple of other uh, magazines have already done track reviews of this car on YouTube. You should look for those. I'll try to put a couple of links to those videos down below. But this car looks like such a blast to drive. Oh my goodness. I mean, just to get this car on the track, it must be heaven. Uh, so I'm excited by this car, even though I can't, I can't get one <laughs> right now. I'm, I'm happy with my GTS, but uh, boy, this car looks like a beast. But I have to ask, these numbers that this car produces, 500 horsepower, six speed manual, does remind me a lot of the 911R. The number sounds similar to the GT3 RS that was already produced. So I wonder what the value of those cars is gonna be moving forward. Maybe because they're so exclusive, the value of those cars will be untouched. Like particularly the 911R, it's so unattainable limited run, I guess that'll always remain high value. 
But what about the GT3 RS? What about the previous generation GT3, the 991.1s? Will they see a dip in value? Why would you need those? Really, I mean, why would you need those other cars when you've got this one out there? Of course, I'd love to have those other cars. Don't get me wrong. But um, this new one here looks like just pretty amazing. What do you guys think? Please leave me comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and come back for more. See you next video, guys. Safe driving.